Whenever you capture an image with your camera or smartphone, data will be stored in that image file. This could be anything from the exposure to the subject distance and even the GPS coordinates from where the image was taken. This metadata can be stored in many different formats, and one of the most common formats is the exchangeable image file format, officially called EXIF. I have created a .NET standard library that allows the user to programmatically strip or add EXIF metadata to a supported image file format. The library is easy to use and is well documented, and I will now demonstrate how we can add a title and a star rating to an image using the library. The first thing you want to do is to open up Visual Studio, create any project using .NET, and import the EXIF auto library to the project. I'm currently using the VB.NET language and the .NET framework alongside the Windows Form app project. In the project, I have created a form with a button and added a click event to the button. When I press the button, I want to add a title and a star rating to the selected image. Now it's time to import the EXIF auto library and write the code that allows me to add the metadata. To import the library, I have to write import EliasVic.utilities above the public class. Then I have to write a new instance of the EXIF auto utility class. I'm declaring the EXIF auto utility class in order to allow access to the functions and properties. Now we have to add the image to the EXIF auto class that we want to modify. We pass the image as an argument and the requirements to be able to change the metadata of the image is the path to the image, the image name and the image extension. As I mentioned previously, all of the classes, functions, properties, and enumerations have been properly documented. This means that if I were to hover over the dim section of the code, IntelliSense will list a description of what the code does. Before we continue, I'm going to view the image that we want to modify in order to show you that neither the title or the star rating has been added to the image. If we now go back to Visual Studio, I can now use the declared variable EA in order to modify the image metadata. In order to modify the title, we write EA.metadata parentheses exif alter dot metadata tags dot description dot title and subject close parentheses equals and then quotations. And inside the quotation marks, we can specify the title. I'm going to be using a title as the name for the title. We can now copy this section of the code in order to add the star rating as well. We only have to change the title and subject to rating, and then add a rating between 0 and 5. 0 means that there will be no stars added to the metadata, and 5 means that 5 stars will be added. Finally, we need to save the changes done to the image. We can save these changes by writing ea.getbitmap.save, parentheses, quotation marks, and close parentheses. Inside the quotation marks, we can specify the new location for where the image should be saved. If we type the same path, name, and extension as the source image, we will overwrite that image. I'm going to change the name from stone to stone metadata so that we can compare the metadata once the code has been executed. We can now launch the application and press the Change Metadata button in order to add the metadata to our image. If we now head on over to the folder where the image was located, we can now see that we have two images. The image named Stone is the original image that we used, and the Stone metadata image is the one that contains the altered metadata. If we right click on the image and press properties and then information, we can then see that the image has been modified. A title and a five star rating has been added to the image metadata. If we wish to remove the metadata, all we should have to do is to write ea.removeAltMetadata and then save the image. And that will result that all metadata will be removed from the image. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to find more projects that I've worked on, make sure to visit my website at elias wickcom a link to the website can be found at the end of this video or in the video description. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.